Hi, I'm David Bacsa, and I'm part of the Life Sciences Product Marketing team at Cognex. Accurately inspecting test tubes and their contents can improve lab efficiencies, safeguard streamline qualities, and streamline operations. With potentially hundreds of samples in a laboratory at a given time, locating and analyzing test tubes can be a daunting task. In this video, I will show you how to automate test tube inspection based on cap classification with the Advantage 182 machine vision camera and edge learning tools. These technologies can also automate applications such as determining liquid levels and barcode identification. This setup consists of an Advantage 182 smart camera, equipped with integrated illumination, inside vision suite software. This camera is powered by USB-C cable. It also has an LJ45 Ethernet cable for network communication, most of which are connected to my laptop here. Before I begin the demonstration, I connect to the spreadsheet editor in the inside vision suite to edit my job file. I quickly adjust the screen to make sure that we can see the image better. As you can see, I already created a basic job file, which can fixture the test tube, read the 5 mil barcode from them, and also detect the liquid level. Today we will be only focusing on the VD Edge Learning Classify tool for cap classification. Let's get started. I have a few samples in my tube holder. The first two caps have same color, but different shapes. The last three tubes have similar cap shapes, but different colors. I also have two tiger caps here, which have higher variation. Tiger caps are difficult for machine vision tools to identify because of their complex color pattern. This is the area where our edge learning tools can be utilized for robust detection. Next, I will show you how easy it is to set up a tool, and later we can see how well it can tolerate variances. First of all, I need to drag and drop my edge learning classified tool into the spreadsheet. So I take it from the function list and drag and drop to my spreadsheet editor. The first thing I have to do with that tool is fixture it. I take the tube coordinates from here, and I set the region of interest to the size of my cap. And this is how the tool looks like before it was stained on any images. If I'm ready to start my training, I click on Collect Samples checkbox and start recording images. The number of images per each class depends on the complexity of the application. In this case, I will start recording four images for each class, and also rotate my samples between each image, so I can add little variance to my image set. Finally, I will take a few images of my black tiger cap. If I'm ready to start training my model, I uncheck my select collect samples checkbox and open up the tool. To start training, I click on the train tab. First of all, I have to label the images. The first class I will create is the purple rubber. To label the image, I click on the button. The next class is the Black Tiger class. Next, I have to create another purple class because it's different to the one I already have. I label the image by clicking on the button here. Next, I create a gray tiger class. And I label my image by clicking on this gray tiger label. The next one will be a purple rubber class. Label this image. The next one will be a black tiger. This is the gray tiger. And actually, as I'm labeling my images, I'm constantly retraining my model on the camera. You will notice that the yellow circle means that this is the predicted class by the model, and the green ring means that this is the confidence level outputted by the 
Edge Learning model. To speed up the labeling process, I click on the Images tab, open this window, and here I can just easily drag and drop the images to the right class. This way, I constantly labeling and detailing my model. I click OK, and I just trained my first edge learning tool. To test my model, I can trigger my camera and see the output from the edge learning model. This is the predicted class, I can highlight that, and this is the confidence from the model. You can see that the model is working as expected, it's called detecting all class types, how it was trained before. Next, I will test how the model can tolerate the variances. For this, I have different tubes that was not used for model training before. This Morag has a gray and a black tiger cap. As these have higher variances, this is a good time to test our model robustness. As you can see that the gray tiger cap was predicted with high confidence by the model. If I test the black tiger cap, it's also detected by high confidence by the model. The model works as expected. Finally, I show you how to create a simple user interface using the built-in web HMI to display the job file results. By using the HMI, you can customize the way information is presented. To display a result on the user interface, we will have to add it to the Easy View panel. To do that, I have to open up the main menu and open the Easy View panel. If I want to add anything to the HMI, I have to add to the Easy View panel. The first thing I want to add is the classifier result. To do that, first I need to tag each cell I want to add to the Easy View panel. So I call this cap type. Then I go to the Easy View panel, add cells, select my cell, and it's add, to, add it to the Easy View. Next, I will add the score. Click on the cell I want to add, add a tag to it. Call it score, add cells, select this one. The next one I will be adding is the result of the barcode reading. I call this barcode. I go to my Easy View panel, select add cells, select this one. The last one I will be adding is the liquid level. I call this a liquid level and add it to the Easy View panel. These fields are editable, so as the liquid level is in millimeters, I change that. And as the score will be predicted in percentage, I will add it to the field. Next, I will add a group here. I call it tube inspection. And move it to the top. When I'm ready, I can close my spreadsheet editor and I can open up the web HMI from the main view of the Inside Vision suite. It will open up my default browser. I can see the results on the right side of the screen while the image is on the left. I can look at the camera and check whether everything is working as expected. To recap this tutorial, we connected to the Advantage 182 camera using the Inside Vision suite and used the spreadsheet editor. We added an edge learning classifier tool to train a model on different cap types. Finally, we created a simple HMI to display our results. This is one of many life sciences applications that can be automated using the Advantage 182 system. Thanks for watching.